Myron is at it again. He's constantly, in the last year or so, have been taking L's. We know that they were demonetized uh, from YouTube and they couldn't make money no more. So, you know, you didn't see them with their platforms uh, with these scantily clad OnlyFans women who they speak out against on their platforms now because they couldn't afford it, right? So then he got kicked off of other platforms. But he's been going back and forth with now feminist groups, the small hat crew, the uh, LGBT crew, all these different groups he's been going back and forth with, running his big old mouth, right? And we know that he's been very disrespectful towards my people, the African American uh, African American community. But remember, remember this? Christians are for f okay? Um, black people need to just stop being lazy. We're, you're not gonna get a fucking handout, okay? We're not gonna give you your fucking reparations because guess who's gonna have to pay for that shit? The middle class is gonna have to. Pay. Yo, this is why so many people don't. With black women, man. I'm gonna kill all the way a million. Now you're making it a race thing. No, 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 no he ended up getting a black woman pregnant. And guess what, y'all? was an OnlyFans model. I mean, th this is Myron who's talking about the decency of women, and especially going after black women and calling them midnight marauders and all of this stuff and saying that he don't, he don't deal with the Darth Vader's and all this stuff. He got a black, a, a black OnlyFans model pregnant. Check, don't believe me? Check this out. Because I, this morning when I woke up, I've been depressed. I've been depressed as for like two weeks, simply because I'm pregnant for one, for two, mm -hmm. like all this. But like, I've just been depressed. So I had to sit and really think about everything. And as I was thinking, I was like, okay, well, first, before I do this, do I think that the way that he was approaching me was genuine? Do I feel good about the way that I was approached? Do I feel good about the way that everything happened? And my answer to that was no. And then I had to think, well, okay, why don't I feel like it was genuine? And I don't think it was genuine because if you're trying to tell somebody that you care about them, if you're trying to tell them that you give a f about them and all these other things, but when you create a life with them, all that shit goes out of the window, then it makes the person feel manipulated. But then he gets into it with a black feminist woman named Hair Dot Soup. And he was, she was offered like 20 racks. To come on there and date, I mean, not, excuse me, to come on there and debate Nick Fuentes, not date, debate Nick Fuentes. And we know Nick Fuentes is a well-known W supremacist. He's, he's, he's a, a, a racist. Um, <laughs> this guy, you know, usually when he's on platforms with women, he disrespects women to the highest power. And I don't know why these people give him platforms. But a lot of times when he's on platforms with women, it goes like this. And shouldn't go to college. And we talked about education. <laughs> That's what I just said. You're but a living proof said, of why women should go to college. Let me just tell you that. I'm living proof why women shouldn't go to college. Yeah, yeah because wait, wait, wait. College if, if, you, if you don't want the personal tax, then don't get the personal. If you don't want the personal tax, then don't get the personal tax. What if I said, if you don't want the personal tax, then don't get the personal tax. I'm being personally attacked. I'm being paying attention. What if I said that Catalina, Nick, go ahead. Hitler, that's the that I like. You know, you wouldn't like that if they said they liked Hitler in the song. They would hate that. I would also add, Italians never call them the N-word. But the crazy part is, Aiden Ross was one, wanted to put up the seed money for her to debate this guy, Nick Fuentes. Why? Why do these guys give these known racist dudes a platform in the first place? Right? So, she gave her reasons as to why she turned this down and said, I don't want no parts of this guy. I, I don't want to be around him. I don't want to be down with none of that kind of stuff. She said no. But here she here she is speaking as to why she said no. Okay. So a few days ago, Aiden Ross hit me up and offered me $20,000 to debate Nick Fuentes. And I said no. I said no for several reasons. But the biggest one is that he's... I feel like this is kind of self-explanatory. But if you engage in a debate with the leader of a hate group, you are legitimizing that as a perspective that should be considered. How am I supposed to have a debate with someone who openly idolizes? Like, what are we supposed to talk about, guys? Healthcare? No, no. If you wanna disagree with me about policy, that's fine, I don't care. But you can't just like hate people for no reason and expect me to like normalize that. I'm not doing that. Nah. Uh -uh. So that's number one. 
Number two is his fans got really excited about it. Why did they get really excited about it? Because they're a hate group. And what does a hate group need? Something and someone to hate. So essentially, I was being paid $20,000 to provide entertainment for a bunch of fuck- Hell no. Uh-uh. And then number three is I think it's kind of hilarious that Aiden Ross tried to pay a girl $20,000 to talk to him and she still said no. That's just funny. <laughs> you guys get advice from him? Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, but you know, that's kind of my take on it. I just didn't want to. It's just gross. I don't want anything to do with that. I'm not gonna feed into it. Not for $20,000 at least. If I'm gonna sell my soul to the devil, it's definitely gonna be a big bag. Like I will never work again. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. But yeah, so that's why I didn't do it. And you know, it's fine to disagree, but come from a place of love and then we can talk. All right. So as you can see, this this woman, I, who I think is beautiful, she um she responded uh, in a very, very kind and respectful way. She didn't get out of line. She called it for what it was um, right down the line, you know, um, as it is. You know, but like I said, I don't understand why Aiden Ross and these people would even be providing a platform for, for him to come debate. Why come debate this woman anyway? Like, why you guys are taking advantage of black women? Why don't y'all come talk to men? Come talk to real men, black men, face to face. A lot of you dudes out there are cowards. Like, you want to go talk to a black woman about racism and say all kinds of inflammatory things to a woman. I'm offended. Like, we should be offended by that, right? But then she responded because Myron went online and called her a bimbo and called her all these different things. And she, and she responded in kind on TikTok to Myron by saying this. Hi, Divas. So in the mix of this whole thing with Aiden Ross, this other random person decided to call me out. This dude named Myron Gaines decided to comment on the situation. And I'm sure as you can imagine, he said some very enlightened and really nuanced things. Just kidding, he called me a bimbo. Here's me, here's him calling me a bimbo. Fuck up, by the way, no. So yeah, this caused me to do some extensive research. I Googled him. And it turns out he is the co-host of this podcast and they're basically like marketing themselves as a dollar store version of Andrew Tate. Hi guys, real quick note from Naeem of the Hungover Editor. He wrote a book called Why Women Deserve Less. Crazy title. <laughs> he has had Andrew Tate and Nick Fuentes on his podcast multiple times. He did for them pretty hard. He hates black women. He openly calls them ghetto and all kind of crazy stuff on his podcast. Um, yeah. Now, content like this is especially bad because they're essentially marketing misogyny. And they're branding it as like advice for young men. So they're basically profiting off of young men's mental health issues and insecurities to monetize misogyny. These guys are selling you a one-way ticket to dying alone. Don't buy it. To Myron, I cannot imagine the amount of self-shame that you feel to make content like this. And I'm sorry that you're going through that. I'm Rue. I am sorry that you changed your name to conform to this ideal that is degrading you, all of the women who have shown you love and support in your life, and all of the young men who you platform to. But I really think you should reevaluate it because it's, it's a weird business model. So to all of my young fans, I want you to remember, every single content creator you follow is getting paid. And that's fine. And some of us try to profit off of love and like, you know, not being and some of us don't. So just remember that when you're consuming content and take a grain of salt, because really it's not this serious. So all these Nick Fuentes, the Sneakos, the Aiden Ross, the Myrons, you guys wanted to bring this woman onto your platform and give her $20,000 so you can talk down to her and talk greasy to her, dehumanize the woman and make her feel less than. Now, I can, I, I can see that this woman may, you know, uh, she's she's a strong feminist. She may have a lot, like a lot of liberal uh, leaning weight, viewpoints or ways. And we probably would disagree on different things. But at the end of the day, she's still a black woman. At the end of the day, you know, she's still part of my, my group, my tribe. She was very disrespectful. I didn't see her get out of line, be belligerent, none of those things. You guys want to bring a woman on there to just dehumanize and disrespect the woman. Why don't you call us to come on there and talk? Stop trying to take advantage of women. 
I'm glad that she didn't just take the money and go on there just to do it. She so she showed some integrity. I admire this woman for doing that. I respect her for doing that. She showed some integrity and she said, no, I would not surrender my integrity over to you guys. And then you get you guys like Sneeko and them and uh, Myron and like you guys are friends with this Nick Fuentes guys, Aiden Ross. And all you dudes, man, you dudes are cornballs. The internet have, has given you guys a platform where you finally have the attention that you've been yearning for your whole life. Because you stood on chairs and you yelled, you did cartwheels in the streets, and nobody paid attention to you. You never can get the woman that you wanted. You never had the attention from your parents. You were the middle child that your parents never paid attention to. So now you got a platform where all the people that think like you now can get a platform, can, can come on and watch you. And you're trying to use that to take advantage of people when you, hey guys, you know we can see you, right? You know we know that you're cornballs. You know that we know that you're not who you're proclaiming to be, right? We see it. You spent time getting demonetized, going after that protected class, talking about blacks, talking about all these different groups. And, all, and now, you, now you don't even have a home. You guys can't even have a home to even disrespect these women. You see Myron talk trash about black women, but get a black woman pregnant. Like, this is a joke. It's a joke. And I'm glad that she turned you idiots down, man. Because it's, it's, why even waste your time? But these guys, man, this, this stuff is this just sees it's the internet. So I'm not amazed by nothing that I see, man. But I'm gonna cut this video short here. If you made it this far in the video, hit that like button. Subscribe to Street Media TV. Leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. And remember, I love y'all. To the next time, peace.